Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I look like this because I was going to take my makeup off and maybe do another video and then I decided that I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put on more makeup and I still wanted to do a video but I also want to do a video on have a pamper night. So I decided that, well pamper day. So I decided that I'm just going to do my pamper day and talk about the video anyway that I wanted to do. The topic for today's video is Elvis Presley and Priscilla. Everything in this video is just stuff that I've compiled off Google and YouTube. Um, some of the stories are alleged, some aren't. Um, but we're just gonna go through them together I figure out the story. I haven't seen the Elvis Presley movie because it's just kind of come out. So that'll give you a reference because sometimes I record these videos a bit in advance. So that'll give you like a little bit of a reference. If anything has changed in this story. Sorry, <laughs> I'm recording this in advance. So let's get straight into the video. Oh, so okay. So let's start with Elvis was born in 1935 and Priscilla was born in 1945. I can do a different video that is completely based off Elvis's life if you want, but I'm doing this based off when him and Priscilla kind of met. So I'm not really talking about Elvis's childhood or anything like that. So she was 14 and he was 24 when they met. And the past couple of days I have been watching some like interviews that they're in together are not in together that Priscilla has done because she's wrote a book and obviously after she wrote the book she did different like press meetings and things and um a lot of people question their relationship even back in like the 50s 60s 70s it was still a question when someone that much older than someone else started dating and it always seems different if he was 45 she was 35 or vice versa that always seems like a little different but i think when someone is under age when they start dating someone who's very clearly over age is a celebrity has got a name obviously got all that extra life experience it always seems a little bit more dramatic in that sense i think who to blame the scenario i feel like her parents should be blamed for this but anyway so she's living in Germany because her dad was stationed there. He worked in the Navy. And they met through a friend of a friend and she was on an interview with Larry King. And Larry King asked her, were you attracted to Elvis when you met him? And I think this interview happened years later. Elvis had passed away. And she said that she didn't know what attraction was. And I thought that was super interesting because she was so young. It makes sense that she wouldn't really have an idea about what attraction is, what it means to to actually be in love with someone than just to love someone um, at such a young age. At the point when him and Priscilla had just met, Elvis's mother had just passed away and Elvis has said that Pris Priscilla resembled his mother, that he always kind of saw his mother in Priscilla, which I think is just like a weird thing to say in general. Another interview and a document that I've seen, Elvis said, um, she's young enough that I can train her the way I want her. And they kissed on their second date. I just think that's just so weird to say. Like you're literally saying in interviews that you want to groom this little girl. Because that's what she was. She was just a little girl when they started dating. When I was 14, could I date 24 years old? Hell no. That's too much. At first, her dad was a little bit hesitant. Um, I kind of saw a few mixed things about how they met. But it was her friend of a friend, nevertheless. And at first, her dad really didn't want them to meet. Um, I think it was actually her stepdad. Her dad had passed away. At first, her stepdad, I'll just say dad for the purpose. Her dad didn't want them to go on a date at first because of Elvis's age and status in life and but he eventually said yes. He stayed in Germany for a while Um, I think he was working in like the navy or the military or something so she, he was working he was in Germany for a little while while Priscilla was there as well and obviously she was still in school she was only 14 and she spoke about how Elvis would call her at seven o'clock at night and say, be ready for eight. So she would have to go and there was an interview with Priscilla where the woman asked her like, why didn't your parents let you go out and stay out so late? Because she talked about like being tired and things in her book. And she said, well, to her parents, she was like a young girl dating this, this celebrity older guy. And they kind of thought 
it would only last a couple of months and then it would fizzle out. So it's kind of like, don't ruin my life, let me just live my best life, which I kind of get but kind of don't get just because of her age. And I feel like, no, you're, st you're still a child. I'm pretty sure when I was 14, my mom would not have let me go out on a date with someone who was that old. But you never know until you're in the situation. Like if a really famous person came along and every interview you see about people talking about Elvis, he was charming. That was the thing people would always talk about, how charming he was. And she spoke about in her book that, um, I think it was called Elvis and Me, so she spoke about how she always wanted to dress like she looked a little bit older, maybe 16. 16 still wasn't old enough, Priscilla, but um, so she would borrow like her mom's clothes. And I mean, looking back on photos of her, it's, it's hard to tell because a lot of photos she's like wearing makeup in and stuff, so I don't know. To me, she doesn't necessarily look like a 14 years old in most of the photos, but it's just the way the photos are taken. And sometimes you don't know if that exact photo was from when she was 14 as well. So after them going on four official dates together, her father asked Elvis, um, what do you want with my young daughter? And Elvis replied in his real charming way, saying, you know, she's she acts older for her age. I really like her. Kind of that he wanted to pursue her and potentially marry her one day. And in my opinion, Elvis just wanted someone who was pure and innocent. That's what got him going. And he just wanted to mold her into what he thought was the ideal woman. So because of her age, and obviously even at the time, um, the public still even thought it was a little bit a little bit strange their relationship so they would have to keep it private so that they could go on all the dates. Another thing in her book that she talked about was because she was going on all these dates and she was so young and she had to go to school the next day she spoke about she couldn't keep away away awake she couldn't keep <laughs> keep going on and um, she was obviously only 14 15 going on all these dates with this older man older guy who didn't have to be up in the morning to go to school <clears throat> so he didn't really understand he just liked the idea of having his girlfriend around so that so she said in her book that he gave her drugs i couldn't find what the actual drug was i presume it was just something to help keep her awake while she was at school, which obviously still isn't. 1960, Elvis left Germany to go back to America to do his Elvis thing. And Priscilla was completely obsessed with him at this time. She had just been on all these couple of weeks with this amazing guy who was older, treated her nice, took her out for meals and dancing. She was fluctuated by him. So she had like letters sent to him. And I don't think she posted him a letter every day, but she pre-wrote a load of letters and I think gave it to Elvis's manager who will put it with the rest of the man the fan mail every day and hers had like a bright pink envelope so he could know which one was hers which was like a super smart idea she wanted to make sure he kept thinking of her so when I say she's obsessed I don't mean it in like a weird way like that she's obsessed I mean it in the sense that she's a child who's infatuated by this older man and doesn't really know how to feel about this older man in my opinion. In 1962, um, she got her parents to agree for her to move to the USA to be with Elvis and she lived with some of his family. A paperwork I saw said parents, but I, I think his mom had passed away, so I think it might have just been some family members nearby and it was kind of said that once she graduated, they could get married. So even though she had moved over, got found a good school nearby, so her life was going to be kind of the same it is still said that they had not been together physically yet it was still it was still very um 1966 just before christmas he proposed to her and then may 1967 so only a few months later they actually got married and this is they said this is when they first did it for the first time and exactly nine months later almost to the date they had lisa marie presley on first of february 1968 um, when she had the baby she traveled around with him after she had the baby Elvis really changed her style he made her almost mold into like a version of him he like darkened her hair made her hair bigger made her get porcelain caps on her teeth told her what to wear there was specific colors that he didn't like to wear so he didn't want her to wear them she was just completely under a spell he would tell her what makeup to wear and she just at the time she didn't see anything wrong with it 
um, but obviously is now reading it very different. So before she um, had her child, it said that you know they had a very physical relationship. They were madly in love. They weren't together very long. But once she had Lisa, things changed because I think Elvis liked the idea of having a young, pure virgin girlfriend, wife. And once she had a child, it was no longer could even play into that fantasy. If you get what I mean, it was like there's no way you could play into that because she's definitely not pure. She's had a child. I'm only trying to paraphrase what I probably think he was probably thinking, not that I think that at all. And she wrote in her book that as soon as she had the child, they went off traveling, doing things, it was pretty clear Elvis wanted nothing to do with her physically. But what they would do was they would play fantasies in role play without actually having sex. So it was a way of turning him on without actually getting physical with him. And I can just imagine because she was still so young at this time, like still like a teenager at this time, how much that would mess you up. You know, the first guy you fall in love with, the first guy that you sleep with, you marry and you have a child and all of a sudden you think your life is going to be so magical having this baby together and for the man of your dreams to just completely walk out on you. It must have been very, very confusing and frustrating for Priscilla. Cannot even imagine. He had a very open public affair um, from the actress in Viva Las Vegas. I can't remember her name. And apparently she only found out about the affair once it was public that they were actually engaged. When she confronted Elvis, he was kind of like, well, you either marry me or you just get over it. And they kind of got in a bit of a fight about it. It is said that he, he has had got a bit physical with her as well because he wanted to mold this perfect wife into this perfect woman. Then Lisa and then Priscilla had an affair with her karate instructor. But um, I don't think that lasted very long. But then there was rumours that Elvis wanted a hitman on him. So you can actually imagine, because that man could be still alive today, Priscilla's still alive. But can you actually imagine being the guy that Elvis wanted to get a hitman on? The relationship got more and more toxic as the years went on. The marriage only lasted five years, which isn't a very long time. And I feel like their relationship has made such a statement. It's so iconic. People always use Priscilla as like a reference for hair and for makeup. And just her name is just so famous. So it's, I honestly was shocked when I found out they were only married five years. I know they were together a couple of years before that, but only five years together. And I'm pretty sure throughout their relationship and their marriage, Elvis had cheated the whole time, which is just really sad because Priscilla just, she was infatuated and obsessed with him and loved him so much. But she needed to be free and she needed to find herself because she was so young. And I think it's really hard when you do, for men and women, when you get in a relationship so young and that's the only person you're with, it's really hard to find yourself outside of that relationship. So I really do feel for her. I did see a lot of articles talking about Priscilla, how she's kind of made her name for herself and money by doing these interviews and writing a book. But I think their relationship was just so... I don't know if this is the right word, but it's so iconic. People talk about it all the time. It's one of the marriages that people can't get over. And they always overlook the age gap. Because I know in my life, I just heard so many people talk about Elvis and Priscilla and how handsome he was, how beautiful they were. They were a perfect couple. I can't believe they broke up. But no one ever spoke about the fact that he groomed her. You know what I mean? So I just feel like Priscilla is still alive today. She's 77, I think. And... Um, and I mean, it's really sad. She has said that she was really sad and devastated. They shared custody of their child. They were still in love with each other, but they just couldn't be together. Um, and I think they'll always share that bond because when you think of people that have been groomed by someone else, there's always a little bit of a bond and there's always something that leads back to that person. I'm gonna leave the video at that for today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Um, I'm just gonna wait for my mask to dry. I'm gonna run a bath and wash my hair, just proper pamper myself. I feel like I need it. The last couple of days I've recorded so many videos. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I can also do a whole separate video on Elvis growing up because I think that will be interesting one because there was lots of things I read about him and his mom like baby talking to each other there was really weird weird relationship between them and Elvis referring to Priscilla as resembling his mom and that's why he loved her so much and I don't know if he just thought that because his mom had just passed away and then he met Priscilla so did he just get attached to her straight away because he was the first woman that he's seen and 
and potentially fancied or whatever I don't know so I feel like that could be a whole other deep dive in itself um but also I've through this I've looked into his death as well and that's really scary his diet and everything so I feel like I could probably do another couple of videos on Elvis just to figure out his whole thing um because I feel like he was definitely struggling in some way and no one really knows why um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think and I'll see you in my next video.